Hey everybody, it's Charlene. Today I'm gonna to share with you how I made this super cute and adorable birthday card using some new products from Simon Hurley Create. Spellbinders sent me these products and they're absolutely adorable. So here you can see the stamp set. It has the pug as well as a cat and a panda with their arms out. And then it has all of those little detailed stamps so you can make lots of different cards with this. So I'm stamping out all of the stamps that I think would work well for a birthday card. And I'm using some Distress Ink in Black Soot. This actually works really well for alcohol markers because it is a water-based dye ink. So I did stamp this out twice so I could get a really nice bold black line. And then I'm gonna stamp two of this absolutely adorable pug. Again, on these I am stamping twice, mostly because there is that large black space there for the pug's face, and I wanna make sure to get a really nice bold impression here. Once I have that done, I can start my coloring. You can see I already colored one of the pugs. I'm gonna color this second one here on camera. I'm using my Olo markers, but you could also could use Copic markers or any other alcohol ink markers that you have to accomplish this. The colors I'm using for the pug's body are YO 2.2, YO 2.3, and YO 2.5. So you can see I've got my dark on the edges and then I come in with my mid-tone and then I go through the center with my lightest. Now because the pug is fairly large, I went over it a couple of times. Just be careful because that can certainly saturate your paper and cause the ink to go outside of the lines. So what I like to do if I know I'm going to be making multiple passes is that I will do kind of dark medium, light, medium, and then wait a minute or two for things to kind of dry a little bit for that alcohol to evaporate. So you can see I'm coming back in here with my light color just to kind of blend all of that out. For the tongue on that cute little pug, I used R5.1 and R5.3. Now for all of the embellishments, I came in with the same set of colors all the way throughout to keep everything nice and cohesive. I used BG 2.3 and BG 2.4 for my teal colors. And then I used B 2.2, B 2.4, and B 2.6 for my blues. And then I did do a little bit of shading under the icing on the cake using some cool gray one, some CG one. Next, I came in with the coordinating dies and cut everything out. And here I have a piece of white cardstock. Now this cardstock's cut to three inches by four and a half inches. And I'm gonna run it through an embossing folder. This is the Sunrays embossing folder. Definitely a stash staple. I use this a lot. And now I'm going to heat emboss my sentiment. So I have a strip of black cardstock there. I've added some anti-static powder tool. I am rubbing the stamp with my finger just because it has a little bit bolder print. I wanna make sure I get some really nice transfer here of the embossing ink so that way I get some solid lettering when I add my embossing powder. I'm using WOW embossing ink and then for the embossing powder I'm going to use WOW opaque bright white which I really love. It's a great embossing powder, it gets really good coverage. So I'm making sure I've got enough on there and then just tapping to get any excess off of there. If I still have any little stray bits, I will come in with a brush, but this time it was very clean. Now I'm coming in with my heat tool to melt all that embossing powder. When I'm working with thicker letters like this, I like to use it so that it starts to melt and I move on and then I come back over everything again. I find that gives a really nice result. Hopefully you can see that here on the video. Once I have that ready, I can go ahead and put my card together. I did cut out a piece of Concord or Ninth Aqua Sky cardstock. I love this color. And I cut it so it was just slightly larger than my embossed piece so that I would get a nice eighth of an inch border going all the way around. So that Aqua Sky piece is cut to three and a quarter by four and three quarters. 
I have some thin foam tape on the back of the pug and I'm gonna pop him or her I guess up in the center there right where those sun rays come out with that embossed detail and then I'm going to use a few more pieces of foam tape to pop up a couple of other things on the front here. I'm not going to adhere this yet though to my card base, so you're going to see why. But I've put some foam squares on the back of my balloons there, and then I put some foam squares on that little kind of firework detail piece there in the top left hand corner. So you can see I have the balloons down a little bit farther on the right versus that firework piece is up a little bit farther on the left. That creates some interest on the front of the card. If it was all on the same level, it wouldn't be as interesting to look at. I'm using glue to glue the two presents. I did color an extra present off camera. I just colored it in the exact same way. And that's to balance this part right here because I want to pop up the cake in between them. Now to do that, I've cut two small pieces of scrap cardstock, just thick enough that I know they will fit in between those two presents, the one on the left and the one on the right. The two pieces of cardstock, one is so that it would be even, right, with those other two layers because the cake is gonna overlap the presents. And then the second one is to raise it slightly over the present. So that's gonna give you some forced perspective here in the front of the card. Now, for this next part, this is how we're gonna make a really fun detail to our card. I'm not sure what kind of card you call this. I was inspired by a card that I created at the Simon Says Create event last year. But this essentially, I'm just gonna call it a fun flap card. Uh, and I've got a piece of that same Aqua Sky cardstock. It's cut to three and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. And then I've scored it at three quarters of an inch. On the left there, you see I have that white piece of cardstock. That's three inches by four and a half inches. So when I put that on there with that score line folded over, it's gonna give me that same eighth of an inch border all the way around the white piece of cardstock. So this flap that's gonna be inside our card is going to mirror what we have on the front of our card. So you get a theme for your card going throughout on the outside and then also on the inside. And you could use double-sided tape for this part, or you can use liquid adhesive. Just know if you use liquid adhesive, you gotta kinda hold it there for a second, either with your fingers or with a clothespin or a, an acrylic block, something like that. If you use the tape, it'll stick right there and you have no issues. So you want the edge of this piece of cardstock to be just above your fold line in your card base. If you want to do a variation on this card, you could also cut out another piece of white cardstock at four and a quarter inches by two inches and create a little pocket down at the bottom of the card for your flap to slide in and out of. I wanted to keep this as a flap because then you can flip the flap up, say that 10 times fast and write a personal message. I've glued my second cute little pug here to my flap and then I have those hearts as well. I'm going to put three on here to create a nice little triangle and then I'm going to stamp my sentiment. I waited to stamp my inside sentiment until now because I wanted to make sure that when the flap was down you would still be able to see that sentiment. This sentiment is really cute. It says, sending big pug hugs. This also would look great on the front of the card if you were just sending this as a thinking of you card or a congratulations card. Like I mentioned, there are other small stamps with this set that I didn't use, like there's a graduation cap and a few other things like that. I'm stamping this in some black pigment ink because I wanted it to be nice and crisp. So I'm gonna let that dry before I close my card up. I'm using that last remaining firecracker that we colored in earlier and I'm gluing it as a fun little hidden detail underneath the flap. And that is where I can go ahead and write my personal message. 
Now I can go ahead and add my sentiment to the front of the card. I'm going to create a fishtail on both sides of it, and I'm going to use this trick that I learned from my friend Rebecca. I'm putting a little pencil mark on the back of the cardstock exactly where I want the fishtail to come into. Now I can use my scissors and line it up from the corner to that little dot, and no one will ever know because the pencil is on the backhand side of that cardstock. I've used some thin black foam tape to go ahead and pop my sentiment up on the front side of the card. So that way it's the same height as the other pieces on the front of the card. And despite having the extra flap inside the card, as well as having everything popped up on the front of the card, since I used a thin foam tape on the front, it's not too thick of a card, which is nice. I'm not sure if I'm going to mail this though, I might hang on to it for myself because this card is absolutely adorable. Maybe I'll make a second one to mail out to someone. Alright, now I can go ahead and glue that whole front piece onto the card and I'm just going to make sure it is centered right on there so that way when we open up our card, everything is going to feel like it belongs there, that it's all one piece and goes together really well. I decided to go ahead and add a few more fun little details here. On the balloons, I'm adding some glossy accents. And you can see I keep my glossy accents in a fine tip little bottle and that makes it so that I can do really nice detail work with the glossy accents. For the balloons, I just go around the edge and then I work my way towards the center, making sure to fill in all of those areas. And then for a few other spots here and there, like on the large firework and the top of the little hat, as well as on the birthday cake, I have added some glitter stickles. So here is our finished card. Look at that shine and sparkle. How cute is that little pug? And then you open it up and there is that awesome fun flap. All right, guys, I hope you picked up a few tips and tricks today. Please be sure to like and subscribe as well as hit that notification bell so that I can continue bringing you more crafty content in the future. Until next time, happy crafting.